What if my spouse and I co-own a business and we're going through a divorce? Well, co-ownership, that's sort of a, a loaded term. Now, I'm not a business lawyer. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a financial advisor. I do trust that there are reasons to structure ownership certain ways. Um, for example, maybe um, my wife owns 51% of my business, so now we're woman-owned and we qualified for this certain loan through the SBA, but she's never done anything with the business. She's never touched it. I'm the one who's put my blood, sweat, and tears into it, and I've built it into what it is. The court is and should consider the ownership interest on paper, but the court is also going to consider the sweat equity that's been invested. So have both partners been involved in the day-to-day -day operations? Maybe one of the partners is simply on the board. Maybe I put all my sweat equity in, but the other partner put up all the money. We see that sometimes where um, somebody used family money from their side of the family to fund even like a law firm, uh, for example. So those, those are the nuances that are going to come into co-ownership. When we are disposing of a co-owned business, believe it or not, continuing to co-own and co-operate, co-operate the business is an option. And in larger companies, you're going to see that. 